We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. Now, I've uh, heard that they're changing the name of the stadium, Bricks. It's undecided what the new name will be, however. You know what they should call it? Dave. Dave is a nice name, especially for a place that has outdoor seating, you know? Oh, my God. This guy's a train wreck today. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugglers battle the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What oh, a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho-ho, va-va-va-voom. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Nice run for five yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. And kickers practice for this. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. If they don't pick it up here, the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> that first ref is kind of like fishing. And then the first one seems to take forever, then they come in bunches. <laughs> They'll probably come home with a stringer full of refs by the end of this game. <laughs> I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're gonna split his skull wide open. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and seven. Huh? 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 
Trump, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and six. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and, well, good luck. Hey, yeah, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. And they'll line up for the punt here. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find it. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Second down in a very lot. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. Preferably further than that. It's Dax. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the punishing hit. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. It 
pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second down and more than the QB would like. Touchdown on that deflection. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. shoe size because he just walked all over him <laughs> and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot. Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. <laughs> QB is saying his prayers. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. You want dirty some butternuts, time. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Deep 
defense holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second down and six. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die. Yeah, man, I was here on the panel now. You know what happened? <laughs> they stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big... And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Perfect pass and a score! More points, so they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my fouls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against Captain. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime.
brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Certainly left skid marks. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hey. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the odds. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Third down in forever.
And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Caught for the first down. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. Second down and more than, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> Third down and never going to happen. Hot one. And they went to the air and came up big. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to it. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got? Grim. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? Yeah. He's bribed, you idiot. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not young. Third down, and well, good luck. <laughs> and Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, they'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binoculars. i got to see this. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? Hot. Hot one. Hot. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second.
second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hey. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and rush. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, man, what a throw. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis, as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Defense gives up five yards there. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the... Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Okay, thank you. Get on out, you know? Second down in a very long. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to... And he's running like a moose right now. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. 
It's the quarterback for a sack. Second down and ten. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Britt's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense could do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. Second down and more than the QB would like. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. First down and five. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of... The Sniffle Thrills win today's game. And these fans are really going to be celebrating tonight, Bricks. Yeah, I just saw two zombies hugging and kissing. And they say romance is dead. I just hate this fell off. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because, yeah, they try really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.